So let's take a look in the following example. We have a vessel full of water that has the condition or the safety analysis leads that the hazard condition is the blockage of or the over, overfilling of this vessel. So let's calculate what is the orifice for a ruptured disc considering that we have the vessel, we have the water, and we have the overfilling scenario. In Aspen High Seas, it's possible to perform calculations for the definition of the orifice of a safety valve and also for the definition of the minimum required area for a ruptured disc. To do that, you need to have your process simulation converted, fully converted, and here I have the conditions based on the problem description. So I have a actual volume flow of 50 cubic feet per minute. I have 100% water and the temperature, operating temperature is 70 Fahrenheit and my operating pressure is 364.2 PSI A. The maximum allowable working pressure of my vessel is 500 PSI G. And my, my case, my PSV set point will also 500 PSIG. However, the allowed relief in pressure is 110% of the maximum allowable working pressure. And my back pressure is just 1 PSIG. So based on that, I can go to the safety analysis that is a function or a model that is inside the standard high-spin high seas. The safety analysis environment, I am able to add a pressure relief valve to my process or a root disk to my process. So I will click on add root disk and I need to choose in which stream best represents the location of my relief device. So in this case, I will add at the top of the vessel to represent the overfilling of my vessel. I click two times on that. Now I need to add some information related to the equipment. So what is the design temperature and what is the design pressure? The design pressure, in fact, will be your maximum allowable working pressure. This is 500 PSIG. The temperature is not a concern here, so I will use the same as the reference. The second step is to go to scenarios. And every time that you have a yellow bar in the Aspen High Sea, it gives you some tips to where to proceed. So create an emergency scenario. So we have the bar here, scenario. And I will create a scenario and that in this case, is a overfilling of my vessel. So I will choose the overfilling. And to access the scenario, I need to highlight it. So when I highlight it, I am open, I am able to open the scenario. So now it's just a matter to open the scenario and add the other information related to the process. First thing, what is the source of information or what is the reference? for this overfilling. The reference stream is the water going in because it will define how much water is going inside my vessel. Besides that, I need to form the relief temperature. Here, I don't expect to have an increasing temperature when I have the overfilling of my vessel. So based on that, I will use the reference. You can see that the relief pressure is 500 and 50 PSIG because based on the API 520, I have a allowable relief pressure of 110% of the maximum allowable working pressure. My total back pressure, not 10% of the relief pressure. I have that informed in my design, so it is 1 PSI, PSIG. Based on that, I have 1 PSIG. The relief is liquid, and now the required relief flow is defined by the chemical process engineer. I will not calculate that because I know what is going in, it was, was going out, so 
the flow will be the same as my reference. And based on that, the Iceman High Seeds already performed the calculations for the ruptured disc. Here we have the diameter of the ruptured disc, and below you have the area needed to comply with this flow here of the problem description. If I go to select ruptured disc diameter, I am able to choose the standard diameters that is available on Iceman High Seeds. That refers to the standard, but I can also just click on select. Based on that, have the best option for my scenario. Verify that now I have the new area or the rated area for my system, for my scenario, and the Iceman High calculates what in fact is will pass through the verifies of the rupture disk if it erupts and based on that you perform the calculation for the rupture disk important to mention that Aspen High Seas at least on V11 performs only the coefficient of discharge method calculations so you need to comply the, with the requirements of the arrangement went into atmosphere and etc that you can find in the standards